Hello everyone. I just wanted to do this really quick video clip on how to do some really good slow cooked beans. And I've already added it in my slow cooker and I realize some people probably don't know. I do have a couple of videos. If you look back on my videos, um, you will find um, some recipes for, uh, for slow cooked frijoles and I have some goofy ones back there. But um, on a serious note, um, slow cooked beans, I, I call these frijoles de loya. And basically, you can get any kind of bean. Um, you can get pinto beans, black beans, red kidney beans, pink beans, cranberry beans, um, beans at Peru. Um, but I wanted to just do some pinto beans. So what I did was I basically soaked them. I rinsed them out. Make sure you use a nice colander. And you just rinse out the beans. Thoroughly rinse them out. Make sure that they're organic or you can get them at the store if you can't find any organic because some of the beans are processed in, in gluten um, gluten soils so there's there's gluten make sure if you're gluten intolerant you gotta make sure that you get the beans that don't have any gluten in them because there are some beans that have gluten in them I don't know how that happens but I'm suspecting that there's something in the soil probably the, the crops when they switch the crops around and and they probably do wheat and then they do beans I don't know but it could be that way I don't know but there's gluten in some beans so I have some organic beans I'm not gluten intolerant if I am I don't know about it so basically just have your beans soaked and um, they swell up so I usually soak them in cold water after I rinse them out soak them in cold water and and I stick them in the refrigerators because if you leave them outside something happens I think there's lots of toxins in there and then it kind of um, your beans kind of get like um, you can taste the, the toxins in there a little acid acidy and so I like stick them in the refrigerator because then you can soak them put them in the refrigerator up to a couple days it's nice and cold and they won't sprout on you because <laughs> sometimes they sprout <laughs> so um and then i just go ahead and i rinse them again and then i put them in a slow cooker you could use stock you could use broth you could use a vegetable stock if you're a vegetarian or vegan i'm going to do something different with these beans which i did already and i use um probably about a half a bell pepper there's about a couple cups in here i would say there's about there's actually almost a pound of beans in here. So it's going to swell up all the way up to here. So I think water is four to one. Four cups to uh, one cup of oh, liquid is four cups to every one cup of beans. Um, but when they swell, I think that changes. So Well, it does change because the beans have already absorbed some of the liquids. And then as they're cooking... They begin to shrink a little bit so um and then i put one half of an onion um julienne diced and thigh diced in there and um uh, put a little bit of pepper which i have here i just went and i just sprinkled some pepper i don't put any salt um been told that salt is not good when you're cooking beans but i've done it um you can't it'll just take longer um, I put a couple of bay leaves, which was introduced to me a couple years, a few years ago. I never use the bay leaves, but they kind of give it a little nice distinctive flavor. I'm going to probably put some thyme in it because it's the fall. And it kind of, you can make a bean soup out of this. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> bean soup would be good. So, and then, um, what I did was I sauteed some beautiful bacon ends. And I bought this at a local grocery store, which is a co-op grocery store and co-op grocery stores are kind of neat because they do the farm the table and they really um, do fair trading and they and, and they um, support local farmers and local locals who close nearby within the um, states um, local areas like your fish and your and your meats and your um, which is nice so you know where your meats coming from and so what I did was I went ahead and I thinly sliced some of this beautiful 
bacon. Oh my God, it's so good. It's smoked bacon, beautiful bacon. I went ahead and I sauteed it. You could save the oils for something else. Um, and then I went ahead and I put it in here. So you can see that I have some, some sauteed chunks of, some of them are a little bit done, well done, but that's okay. So sauteed chunks of, of bacon. And then I just, I put it on high and I go ahead and I just, I'm going to add more water, liquids to it. And, and there's salt in the bacon, so it's going to be salted anyway, so this is probably going to take all day right? Anyways, I just wanted to show you that really quick, and I hope you're having a wonderful, safe, and happy holiday season. And I'll talk to you soon and let you know what I'm going to do with these beans. <laughs> okay, talk to you soon. Bye.